Good morning, y'all. It's your girl, Princess. My battery is low this morning, so I got to go into this place and plug up this phone. But let me go ahead and share my message for this morning. It's shaking. Phone shaking. Um, it's going to be for God's glory. Uh, you didn't do anything wrong. You didn't do any punish. Uh, you're not reaping any punishment uh, when certain things happen in your life. Um, certain things are happening for God's glory. And so a lot of times we get these things mixed up. A lot of times we feel like we've been forsaken. God has forgotten about us or whatever the case may be. But majority of the stuff that has happened in my life, yes, I've done some bad things. Yes, I messed up some stuff. Yes, I've gone in wrong directions. But some of this stuff, or all of this stuff can be used for God's glory. All of it. All of it, everything. Whether I deserved it or whether it just came. All of this stuff can be used for God's glory. And so when you when you look at it a different way, when hey Angela, when you look at it a different way, stop thinking that you always on punishment, that God has always good morning, Catherine Catherine is always letting stuff happen to you. Uh yeah, some of the stuff you did reap. Yeah. Yeah, but you're gonna know what what that is. Trust me, you're gonna know that those things are the things that you won't be asking God why why you let this happen if you really acknowledge what you had to do with it. But those other things, please know that the things that you've gone through in life, um, God will take care of you. Um, when I talk to people who have been raped or molested, and I share my testimony, I understand that God allowed it so that I could be used for his glory. I understand that he put things in place because he knew I was able to take it. And so I think that's a high honor from God. I think that when he does select you for such an assignment, good morning, Dewan, for such an assignment where that assignment is going to cause some pain and some hurt. But guess what I love about how God does things? He's a healer. So if anything is allowed to happen to you, he can fix all of those things. Good morning, Kamika. He can fix all of those things. So there's no situation that you go through, no no uh incident. Good morning, Toria. No incident that you go through that you could be talking about, you know, oh my God, you let this happen to me. Well, guess what? I find it now an honor that God is allowing certain things to happen to me because he says to the devil, when the devil goes, if you read in Job, Job had to go every time uh, to God first. And ask God, can he do something to Job? And so when Job was allowed these attacks, when Job, good morning, Kathy, when Job was allowed these attacks, it's because God know, knew that he would pass the test. Does God know you're going to pass the test? Or are you going to be sitting somewhere over in the corner talking about, good morning, April. Are you going to be talking about, oh, Lord, why you let this happen to me? Why you let my child be born like this? Why you let these people hurt me like this? Why are you allowing these situations to come up upon me? And then you're able to handle it. You got picked. You've been selected. You're going to be fine. As long as you walk in Christ as long as you know who he is, as long as you understand that you're covered, things that this earth does, listen, that's another thing we got to stop doing. We got to stop blaming God for this, this sinful world. This is a sinful world. People are doing crazy stuff, right? Y'all know that. Uh, and then we be talking about God, why you allow it for his glory, for his glory, for his glory. We're on assignments. We're traveling through here. We're not here to stay. Honey, you, you gonna be all right. You gonna be fine. Uh, one lady told me not too long ago that she had been in a couple of bad marriages or whatever. And so it just has really damaged her. I said, you will live and not die. So she was like, that's not good advice. You will live and not die. I spoke to that spirit again. You will live and not die. And I will not have this conversation with that spirit that has come upon you. Recognize when a spirit has come upon you to give you a, a sense of defeat, of discouragement. Spirits are going to come to make you feel like your father is not going to show up for you. What are you going to church for every Sunday? What are you listening to uh, somebody to feed you if you're not going to eat at the table? If you're not going to digest what the word of God has said to you, you are not going to fail. You are victorious. You won a long time ago, baby. Before you was born, you was a winner. You wake up great. I tell you that all the time. People say, where did you get that slogan from? I got that slogan because once my father went to 
the cross. Once he went to the cross, I then became victorious. He defeated the enemy then, way before I was born. Way before I was born. Thank you, April. That, that blessed me this morning. Kamika, thank you. Thank you for helping me this morning. Listen, he already fought it. He's already defeated. When I ran into Maya Angelo, and I tell y'all this story, if you, if you seen other, let me tell you the first words that she spoke to me. She said, somebody has already been raped, abused, beaten, and all of that. What are you afraid of? When she said that I applied that to Jesus Christ, somebody has already, somebody has already gone and been in a battle on your behalf, which is Jesus. So guess what? I don't have to walk around here and feel, I ain't got to work. Let, let me tell you some one stripe against this battle. Back. One stripe, if you just look at it the way that it's being done. One whip on his back. <laughs> one of them. The devil couldn't take it not one day, baby. The devil could, he would have been defeated. That's why he ain't do it. That's why he's something whining and running around here trying to figure out how to use y'all because he left with no power. That's why he has to use human beings to go and do this sinful stuff. And so stop asking why God, when these people are doing this sinful mess, because they got a father too. They have a father too. When I was doing my sinful mess, I wasn't serving God. I was doing what the devil told me to do. Y'all know how it worked, you know, because you done it too. We have done some bad things in this lifetime. We have not always made good decisions. If you have, blessed be the name of the Lord, you sh should probably, you ain't gonna like what I'm getting ready to say, you should probably, when you get perfect like that, you should ask the Lord to go and take you home because every day you fall short and you're gonna mess up the next day, just so you know, truth is hurt. So if you're dead perfect, you probably need to go on and say, Lord, just take me so I'm going to heaven and do my work there because I'm gonna mess up in the next five minutes. Let's just be real. But because our father has gone on our behalf, he wants to use us for his glory. He wants to use us for his work. We didn't come down here to see how many houses we can get, cars we can get, how many friends, all that stuff. Uh, how many uh, accomplishments we can make. Yes, we are supposed to be about our father's business so that we can be lined up with where he will have us to be and who he will have us to speak to. And that's why we're to be obedient to what he has for our lives. While we're on this tra trail or this uh path, we need to be be able to be used. You got beat up so that you could tell somebody else there's victory. You you on somebody y'all hear me? You got uh raped so that you can tell somebody how good God is and how he's a healer and how he will come and he will clean that those negative thoughts up. You were depressed so, so you could tell somebody that God is able to give you joy and sorrow. You were beat up and lied on. Listen, we get lied on all the time. If you like me, I get lied on look like every day. But you were lied on so that when God's glory is revealed, somebody will know the truth about you. Uh, so all this stuff that's coming up against you, make sure you're not trying to do evil for evil and all this old foolishness. Do you hear what I'm saying? All this old foolishness. Yes, people are going to attack you. Yes, you're going to deal with death. Yes, you're going to deal with pain. Yes, you're going to go through some suffering, but it's for his glory. It's for his glory. And so when you understand that it's for his glory, and I see y'all talking to me, but I got to go. So I told y'all I'm a battery low. But for his glory. And so guess what? You're going to be fine. You're going to be all right. You're victorious already. Baby, you can go through it. Baby, you've been selected. You've been chosen this morning, this day to speak to somebody else. You, Yes, you're going through some stuff yourself. But in the midst of you ministering to somebody else, God is going to turn your situation around. Stop being all bogged down with your own stuff that you don't see somebody else hurting in this world. You don't see somebody else need a, a prayer. Stop talking about all your stuff all the time and you don't see somebody else needs de need deliverance. Okay? So it's for his glory. You can make it. You can take it. You are, you're more than a conqueror. You're going to... um. I'm telling you, you're going to see victory at the end, baby. You, you It's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. It, it's going to be all right. I understand. I'm not I'm not naive. I'm not slow. I go through stuff. I'm going through stuff now. How about that? I, I, but I, I believe that if we trust in the Lord, like I've been telling y'all, that you're going to be fine. Stop trying to get people back. Stop trying to figure out how to uh, make things better in your life in your way. Use your gift. Use your anointing. Use your key, baby. You got a key. Even if you can't sing, you got a note that will bombard heaven and have God sending his angels down to you to on your behalf. You'll be in a situation. You'll say, Lord, deliver me. And he will snatch you up out of that situation that you're in and fix that situation for you and turn that situation around while you're praying for somebody else. 
So go ahead and understand that, guess what? No matter what comes up against me, I am victorious. I am a conqueror. I am a child of the most high. I have no reason to worry. I have no reason to fear. I don't have to doubt my father on this morning. I am going through, but I'm going to be victorious. I'm going to be all right. Yes, I'm a single mother. Yes, I got to take care of this stuff by myself. Yes, I'll keep calling that person and that person won't help me, but God will help you. God will be there. He understands. He knows. He's not slow or lost. He just want to use your testimony for his glory. So I need some of y'all to go ahead and pass the test so that you can go ahead and be on that. Listen, you don't get a hundred. You don't pass the test, baby. You don't even take the test. Some of y'all don't want to take the test. Every time something come up, oh, Lord, something happening again. My day is all like this again. Every day look like something. Stop talking like that and say, Lord, I'm glad you selected me this morning to be on the battlefield for you. I'm glad you called my name this morning because I want to be able to fight. You hear me? I want to be able to go. Thank you, Latasha. I want to be able to go now and speak. Pat, come on. Go to class. Y'all know it half of us done been through so many dogs on test we can have a whole lot of people and we sitting around here still crying you already know he showed up the last time he came the last time on your behalf he spoke the last time over your situation he gave you some money you didn't earn last time you know what i'm saying he worked the situation out the last time you can't talk about that True feels hurt. Come on, bring that out and stop looking at where you are right now because he keeps delivering you he keeps making a way he keeps uh freeing you up of some things he keeps doing it for you and half of the time, we don't deserve the stuff that he's doing. So focus on that today. Say, Lord, I want to be used for your glory. I want to get a well done and not an undone. I want it, Lord. Please, please help me to understand that this is not about me, this mission, this world, this stuff. I'm still whining about my husband. I'm still crying about my sister. I'm still talking about my mama. I'm still talking about what my daddy did. I'm still talking about what he folks did. No, Lord, help me to be victorious so that I can help somebody else who really is right now in a right now situation that I can speak life to before they kill themselves, speak life to before they fall off somewhere in a deep depression. Can I speak life today? Lord, help me not to focus on my own self, my own thinking, my own mind, my own stuff. Help me, God, to be a witness on today because it's for your glory. I must do for your glory. So y'all have a blessed day. Y'all pray for this phone. I hope y'all got all of that. And y'all have a blessed day. Y'all pray for me.